feels changed. Be what you are. The disciples went into hiding because of something they heard. As soon as Jesus resurrected, he told Mary Magdalene, he said, Run, go and tell them this new information. Jesus is alive, he's risen. The tomb is empty. As soon as she went to tell them, that information gave them energy. Listen, you are dying today physically because of something that entered your ears. Something else must enter you tonight. As the spirit, something else. I am able. I am well able. I am well able. Twelve spies were sent. Ten of them came with something called an evil report. The Bible did not call it an honest report. It called it an evil. It was their perception they brought. And the Bible says, I don't care if it's not the word of God. It's an evil report. And Joshua and Caleb said, let's go up at once. He said, we are well able. They were the only two that entered the promised land. Listen. Listen. You must make it a project to frustrate Satan in your life. You must make it a project to disallow. He is at the mercy of your understanding this truth. I write to you fathers because you have known. I write to you sons because although you do not know, you have strength. You can fight and experience can come out of your battle. That when you now become fathers, you can mentor other sons. I write to you fathers, young men, because the word abides in you. So when words come, it's a battle of words and you fight in the spirit to preserve those words. Listen, he said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes. But what they received made them to speak. On the day of Pentecost, fire came on their head. But the reaction was speaking. They began to speak. From that speaking, 3,000 were saved. From that speaking, the church began to advance. Please hear me. Your destiny is bigger than your today. Man of God, this level of ministry, is only the starting point and let me tell you this if you can hold on to that victory the bible calls the fight to protect god's information the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes overcomes lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes in the name of Jesus the victory that overcomes even our faith the victory that overcomes even our faith the victory that overcomes even our faith the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes Pray, be a speaking spirit tonight. Pray, be a speaking spirit tonight. Be a speaking spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. 
Hear me. Hear me. It was through the power of prayer, a physical climate changed from a dry season to a rainy season. Any climate can change when we pray. Elijah prayed dry season to become rainy season. You are going to pray that every atmosphere and every climate that ministers death, that ministers discouragement, that in the name of Jesus, both the information and the atmosphere live my life. Speak to it. Speak to your childhood. Speak to your limitations. I come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the armies of heaven. Corinthians 14 verse 10 read with me one to read there are as it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without signification that means no voice at all is just a social voice no voice at all is just a technology voice no every voice is programming your destiny whether it is the voice of a mentor the voice of the word of god the voice of culture the voice of your childhood the voice of your family you are going to pray the bible says bringing down every stronghold and every thought to the obedience of Christ. Lift your voice and tear down words and information. <laughs> Shalabatana, 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 Sh
Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed seeds and went his way. But the Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my father, in the realm of your spirit and in the realm of your mind, you are going to uproot and tear down by faith. Lift your voice and declare, I uproot. Every speaking, I uproot. Every foundation, I uproot. Every possession, I uproot. Every communication that is not possible with the character. Every communication that is not consistent with my goal, with my destiny, with my confidence. I call against it in the name of Jesus. Is someone praying tonight? Hallelujah. Please look up while still praying. It's a strong anointing here. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. But we need to know how we resist the devil in this kingdom. Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Please give it to us quickly. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. Resist the devil. Matthew, help us media. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. This is how Jesus rebuked and resisted the devil. Then said Jesus to him, Get thee then, Satan, for it is written. That is the basis. It is written. Not I think, not I wish, it is written. The victory that overcomes is the victory that is written. Written. The logos. Get thee thence poverty, for it is written. Get thee thence limitation, for it is written. Lift your voice and declare, Satan away from my destiny, away from my life. It is written. And speak scripture. It is written.
Hallelujah. Prophet Joel. Prophet Joel taught us a very deep mystery. In chapter 3, please give it to us, we are praying. Chapter 3 and verse 10, Joel. Joel 3 and verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords. In other words, it's time for the fight of faith. And your pruning forks into spears. This is not just a time for harvest. It's a time for warfare. And then it says, in that warfare, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You are about to say so now. This is strategy. Everything the Bible says you are, everything the word of God says you are, you are about to say it now. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am blessed. If someone pray, I am anointed. My business is flourishing, pray. The ministry is flourishing by the Spirit. My home is flourishing by the power of the Holy Ghost. My finances is flourishing by the Spirit of the Christ. I go from glory to glory. I go from grace to grace. Listen to me, you are going to declare, the Lord spoke to us that this is our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. You are going to pray and prophesy. It must be as he said. It must be as he said over every area of my life. Lift your voice now and begin to pray. It must be as he said. Let's go to the 
5 verse 19 Job chapter 5 verse 19 We'll read 19 and 20 Job chapter 5 Job chapter 5 Are we there? He shall deliver thee in six troubles Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you Verse 20 In famine This is the first kind of trouble that comes upon men in the earth Famine He shall redeem thee from death In war he shall redeem thee from the power of the sword. 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Listen, this is a mystery that one day God will grant me the grace to teach in this place. The word league is covenant. That you will be in, in a covenant with the stones of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. Listen, he said in six troubles, yes, seven, he shall deliver you. You are about to pray these prayers. In famine, in war, the speakings and the tongues of men, Lord, arise by the Spirit. And let my life see your salvation. Let my life see your salvation. Lift your voice and pray. Are you praying? Arusha la barra 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 the Lord. Just two or three more prayer points and we are done for the night. Listen to me. You are going to cry to God and ask the Holy Spirit to be the administrator of your atmosphere. Listen. It's a powerful prayer. He is called the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. The protector of your atmosphere that your mind will always remain at the presence Samuel had the voice of God because he was lying down close to the ark you are going to pray Spirit of the Lord you were sent to guide me into all truth guide me into the truth formation that will build faith in me for the days that come lift your voice and begin please lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray you are the wisdom of God 
guide me to all truth. Take away the unnecessary for my life. Lead me to revelation. Lead me to scripture. Lead me to revelation. Lead me to understanding. That build my life. That build my destiny. Koinonia, is this your prayer? Is this your prayer tonight? Is this your prayer tonight? Guide me to for my destiny, for my finances, for my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Declare ye that ye might test be justified. That means your bailout, your vindication in the realm of the spirit is predicated upon your declaring. Declaring what? What is written? Listen. The word of God that is allocated for every area of your life to produce victory. You are not going to spare. You will speak. Listen. Listen. I told you that words carry energy. They carry presence. They create imagery. They connect your emotions to those images. And then they make for creation. This is the technology of information. You are going to pray over anything in your life that must change in this season that must change you are going to enforce the word of god with power and grace i'd like you to lift your your voice mention the area that must change place a demand don't let the devil speak things to your ears is it your finances? Is it your family? Is it your spiritual life? Listen to me. You can create a new effect. You can create a new atmosphere. You can create a new feeling. You can win. The word of God abides in you. Open your mouth and declare, declare, declare. The word of the Lord. In the glory and the power, I see miracles. Signs and wonder in the glory and the power. I see miracles. I'm a sign and wonder.
listen to me. He said, Son of man, what seest thou? Hold on, hold on. You are going to pray. Lord, change my perception about life, my perception about God, my perception about my circumstances, my perception about Satan. Do a miracle to my sight. Lift your voice and pray. Do a miracle. Change my perception. Every image. Every emotional connection to every image that is birthing pain, that is birthing impossibility, that is allowing darkness to reign over my life, change my perception. Koinonia pray a miracle of the seen eyes. Change my perception. The Bible says, For we know that all things work together for good to them who love God and who are the called according to His purpose. Lift your voice and pray. Change my perception. Change my financial perception. My spiritual perception. My career perception. My sociological perception. My emotional perception. Let my perceptions be lined up to and with the world. Let my perceptions be lined up to and with the world. Change my perception in the name of Jesus. Change my perception. My perception of ministry. My perception of life. My perception of my family. My perception of increase. My perception of your purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's have the last prayer point for tonight. Listen. The victory of the believer is in staying and hearing and seeing the word of God. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, we are changed into the same image, not another. You will become the reality of the information that enters your life. You will become weakness when you hear weakness. You will become weakness when you hear weakness. You will become strength when you hear strength. Listen to me. You will become powerful when you hear power. You will become full of faith when you hear faith. You will become a man of speed when you hear words of speed. You will become revived when you hear words of revival. You will become a man of fire when you hear words of fire. Listen, your thinking makes your belief system and it translates into who you are. You have an assignment to from today and forever protect yourself. Protect yourself. Protect yourself from the influence, the arsenals of culture, the arsenals of Satan, the arsenals of past, your past, the arsenals of your weakness, career, whatever it is. Make up your mind that you sustain the stamina to stay on that which is written. For the Bible says, listen to me, that heaven and earth will pass away, 
but this word abides forever the bible says he upholds all things not by ideas by the word of his power so no matter what you are going through in your life you are not defeated if what is written is still in your mouth joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 i'm rounding up this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then and only then shalt thou make your way prosperous and thou shalt have good success last prayer lord jesus magnify your word and the voice of the holy spirit above every other voice and influence in my life lift your voice and pray magnify magnify if someone pray magnify your word above my circumstances magnify your word above my limitations magnify your word above ministry magnify your word if someone pray lord i want to see your word exalted be lifted high, be lifted high, oh Lord, be lifted high, for you are holy, righteous and holy. class of degree you finish it. take weak men and set them as kings and princes it is within the power of god to prosper a man please listen to what i tell you it is within the power of god to keep a man it is within the power of god to bring deliverance and to bring salvation it is within the power of god to give you a new name that the mouth of the lord himself will call exalted that when you stand through life anything that is not the word of God 
you have an assignment to fight that fight it's not a weak fight it's a great fight until that which is written becomes your experience until everything that you see is Jesus until everything that you see is his grace his life his power his wisdom until everything you see is that what you saw in your dreams and your vision now becomes your experience you continue to set your gaze on Jesus until you see that anointed version of you that you saw in your dream no matter what you see in your life don't let men clap you to your grave if it has not become what you saw keep pressing Lord I thank you but I keep seeing we are able to go out and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea though the giants may be on our way to hinder God will surely give us victory we are the generation that is well able regardless of your background you are well able it may not look like it until the word of God gains ascendance your assignment is to believe his report and to stay there apostle but you do not understand I didn't get admission apostle as I am right now I don't even know where the next meal will come from apostle I've prayed and fasted for the anointing for things to move in my life it doesn't matter what it is my brothers hear me my sisters hear me you are only victorious when you stand on God's side stand continue to exalt his word lift it above once he stands above you will see what that word will do it will become not only an anchor it will become a cover it will become the basis for your victory hear me even the hand of God wrote twice that means whatever was written can be rewritten did you hear what I said the hand of God wrote once and wrote again for Moses Isaiah go back to Hezekiah tell him I have changed my mind Hezekiah there is no death for you again please pay the price to know God pay the price to know God Hezekiah you will continue to be king I have shifted the song to prove to you that I have rewritten Esther meets the king and say write again O king it was her man that deceived you to write you wrote death it is within your power to write life again and the king said bring me the paper and he wrote and stamped it hear me no matter what has been written over your life I stand by the word of God listen to me in this kingdom please hear me there is a heavy anointing on me I want to pray for you listen it says my heart is indicting a good matter yea I speak of excellent things it says my tongue is the pen of a ready writer I want to write something in your life by the Spirit it is true that what was written can be rewritten please you don't have to kneel you don't have to kneel please stand it is true that the ordinances and the appointments of death the appointments of failure it is true that the expectations of wicked people waiting believing that your family will not amount to anything that your life will go down tonight I stand by the spirit indicting a good matter he said yeah I speak of excellent things and he says my tongue is a pen of a ready writer I stand by the God of heaven who calls men by his grace I declare whatever was written that is an appointment unto death I change it and I speak life to you now hear me 
if Esther did not come to Mordecai, it was not only, if Esther did not come to the king, it was not only her man. Hear me, look at me, let me teach you a mystery. If Haman died and Israel died, God lost. The verdict that was in the presence of the king was not just for Haman, it was also for Israel. And Esther came and said, King, write again. The verdict that plagues families and plagues individuals hear me it is not only for your grandfather alone it affects everybody it is not only for nigerians alone but we are standing like midwives like esther to say king right again in the name of jesus every appointment unto derision unto death unto causes unto walls i stand as one who stands by the election of grace and i declare that ordinance is changed over your life please help them that ordinance is changed over your life hear me it was unfortunate for Herod. Herod spoke against Peter. And he was speaking against the gospel. But there were saints who were praying. There was nobody to advocate for Herod. Herod fell from his throne. Died immediately. And worms came out of his body. They are taken for a prey and none say it restore. Listen. Restoration is advocated for through the power of prophecy. I decree that anything that has become a programming over your life and destiny to sabotage the purposes of God over your life, I stand by the power of words and in the name of Jesus we create a new outcome for you was teaching one of God's generals and someone stood in the congregation and while she was teaching he laughed at her and she looked at him and said God judge you his tongue protruded immediately there was no hospital he went to that they could find a cure eventually they brought him to Maria Woodward Eater and explained what happened. And she nodded and slapped the tongue and it deflated and went down immediately. Let me tell you this. There are families, there are territories that are carrying ancient words that came from the anger of men. Spoken over people spoken over families when Jericho was destroyed a curse was placed on it that whoever builds Jericho he will build the foundation with the blood of his firstborn and he will complete it with the blood of his lastborn an innocent king came many years later on and thought it was just over and just carelessly went to build the foundation and his firstborn went for it and as he tried to complete it his last one went for it words are dangerous i pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god if there is any word fighting you 
fighting your family if there is any grace fighting you closing every door by the mercy and the god of the eternal covenant i declare may the blood speak for you tonight If any pronouncement, whether demonic, even if it is by a man of God, and it is programmed at programming at bringing eels, I stand by the God of my salvation and I speak to you. Let mercy speak now. pray for you finally by the spirit of grace whatever must move you forward between now and the end of this year to fulfill what God has said please believe what I'm saying I stand in the name of Jesus and I push you into that world whatever you must hear whatever grace must come upon you whatever connection must come upon your life to see to it that the spoken word the rhema of god makes for a performance in your life i declare enter into that word anyone here under the sound of my voice appointed unto death that the earth is calling you and the grave is calling you Hades is calling you I stand by the spirit of God I command the voice of death to be silenced now hear me listen to me men casted lots to know the exact day to bring trouble to the Jews whatever programming is waiting for you in the future to bring you down, to destroy you, to impede your progress, already finished by darkness. I stand as a carpenter in the name of Jesus. I scatter every planting that is not of God. I scatter every planting that is not of God. I scatter every planting that is not of God. I scatter every planting that is not of God. here who is currently under any demonic siege you do not even know but you are under a strong influence of the powers of darkness right now in the name of Jesus I speak to those spirits by the God of Jeshurun and I declare let God's people go now let God's people go now let their families go now let their finances go now let their spiritual lives be free now thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head one more time I thank you for lifting. 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 Father, tonight, honor your word over everyone that has been spoken. Let there be a strange performance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please remain standing. I apologize. Our time is gone. Everyone, please remain standing. You are in this place. And while I was talking, the Spirit of God was through my voice speaking to you too. And He was telling you that it is a new season for you, but you to start with you making a declaration for Jesus. Listen very carefully. 
if you belong to that category you are saying apostle i've never truly given my heart to jesus christ or i need to rededicate my life sincerely wherever you are overflow one two overflow three i'll request that you just move to the front of your projector stand you are in this place please run out quickly our time is gone come and stand in front here god bless you bless you my dear brother god bless you Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Celebrate that. If you are coming, please come quickly. Come quickly. Hallelujah. Come quickly. God bless you. I celebrate every one of you. The Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. I salute your courage to make this decision for Jesus. May I request that you lift your right hand, every one of you. Say this after me, mean it from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. If you're joining them, please come quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. A few people coming, please quickly come join them. Join them. God bless you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that you are my lord you are my savior and you are my king i receive by faith the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace and i declare that i reign in this life tonight and forever eternal life is mine I am a child of God. I am the son of the kingdom. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, these are the ones that you died for. And we honor you for granting them the grace to heed to your call. I pray that you will keep them. I pray that you will bless them. I pray that you will honor them. In the name of Jesus. That everything that is not the planting of God... I come against it now in Jesus name may the Lord himself and even by his spirit do a miracle for you from today you move forward ever and backward never your relationship with the Lord is strengthened and you will continue to go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus amen and amen God bless you please I like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands all of you God bless you let's celebrate them as they go thank you